Russell Brand claims that he is being censored. Now, it's a little bit bizarre because this is a multi-millionaire who decided to become a YouTuber, I'm guessing for fun. And, you know, that's fine. I used to watch his content. But just by being a celebrity, you have a huge advantage on YouTube. The algorithm favors celebrities just as it favors corporate media. But yet he's claiming that he's being censored because one of his videos was like deleted or something. This is not a unique phenomenon. I've been on the platform for a very long time. Some of my videos have been deleted. Many of my videos have been demonetized. There are thousands of smaller creators that this happens to all the time. But for this multi-millionaire YouTuber to cry censorship after the algorithm favors him, I mean, it's just, mm. <clears throat> he's so tone deaf and he doesn't even realize it. Like we're supposed to feel sympathy for him. I feel sympathy for the thousands of smaller creators who are more talented than Russell Brand and don't spew bullshit like he spews, who they don't get preferential treatment by YouTube. They don't get picked up by the algorithm. Whereas he can release some dumbass video where he spends 10 minutes droning on about some article that he read and that gets hundreds of thousands of views. But for people who are actually talented, the algorithm is suppressing them. And so for him to say I'm being censored, it really rubs me the wrong way, but let's listen. We have been officially censored by YouTube. They took down one of our videos for misinformation. But why are big media organizations not censored for misinformation in the same way? Is it because- I mean, you're on the same algorithm that they're on. So um, I, I agree that there is inconsistency, right? I have to debunk the misinformation that Fox News puts out. But the reason why Fox News is on the good algorithm lane, why they're on good standing with YouTube is because these massive media outlets, they are largely viewed as advertiser friendly. Whereas YouTube doesn't really know what to expect with smaller creators. Perhaps we say something that offends advertisers more frequently. I'm not really sure. Uh, but either way, like you are on the corporate algorithm. So while you're correct to denounce mainstream media and the way that they get preferential treatment, you also get preferential treatment. You also get that same preferential treatment. And again, to have your video deleted, this has happened to all of us. The only reason why these uh, bigger right wingers, I don't know if he's a right winger to be clear. He's certainly pandering to the right. But either way, the only reason why they claim about uh, or cry about this is so that way uh, they can claim they're being censored. So that way they can then um, direct you to their Patreon page or direct you to whatever new grift they're trying to pull. They use it as like a marketing opportunity. That's why you don't see smaller people complain about being censored because this shit happens to us all the time. I mean, I get copyright claims on videos that I posted like three years ago. I get videos deleted all the time. My catalog is like 4,000 videos. So it happens, but you don't see me complaining. And that's because I'm not trying to grift off of this idea that I'm the victim and I'm being censored because that's not really true. It just is like YouTube isn't looking at Russell Brand and saying, oh, we have to really silence this guy because he seems to be onto, onto corporate power. Like they don't give a shit about you. It probably happened automatically. So shut the fuck up. YouTube are part of the mainstream media now. Earlier this month, we did a video about the changing narratives around COVID, the pandemic, and COVID treatment. Just based on like what <laughs> the way that he's talked about this before, odds are he did spread some misinformation. Um, now, look, usually YouTube doesn't take that down. I think that he is less savvy than others who spread misinformation about vaccines, like Jimmy Dore, for example, because Jimmy Dore has been on the platform longer, so he kind of knows which buttons he can and can't push. So when Jimmy Dore talks about something, he will give himself plausible deniability. And so Russell Brand probably is a little bit more brazen, um, although I don't know because I haven't really tuned into his content. It seems like he does do a lot of what Jimmy Dore does in where he'll kind of try to present both sides or he'll give himself plausible deniability. But for him to discuss the changing narratives of COVID, yeah, that does seem a little bit sus there. I mean, if I posted a video where I, I don't know, I showed like a police officer abusing someone and beating someone, I know that posting that video, even if I'm talking about it because it's newsworthy, that might not only get demonetized, it could get me banned potentially because that goes against TOS. So he's been on this platform long enough himself that he should know this, but whatever. 
which we cited information on official government websites, which we misinterpreted. <laughs> I'll have to be careful talking about it now, because I don't want to make the same mistake. That's Wait, so, okay, I'm glad he's admitting that he misinterpreted it. Seems like it wasn't intentional. But if you literally spread misinformation, and you know that, why didn't you, on your own volition, take down the video? So, <laughs> first of all, you shouldn't be angry that YouTube took down the video if you yourself should have taken it down if you admitted that you were spreading misinformation because you misinterpreted information on a government website. Are you serious? You're actually going to complain about this? I cannot believe the audacity of this motherfucker. One of our videos pulled down and an official warning issued. The good news is we're moving to Rumble. Ooh, wait, All me, of our oh, uh, there it is right there. That's the grift. I'm sure Peter, uh, Peter Thiel is paying him, although I can't back that up. But that's how he gets people to go to the platform. Let me just go back here. Let me just go back here. Uh, where's it showed his YouTube uh, dashboard. Be careful talking about it now because I don't want to make the same mistake that's had one of our videos pulled down and an official. OK, I don't know if you could see that right here. Almost 6 million subscribers, 83,562 new subscribers in the last 28 days. I'm sorry, brother. You are not being censored if this is what your analytics look like. Do you want to know what uh, my uh, sub count was for the last 28 days? It's like plus 30 or something like that. Do you want to know what most people in my lane, like in this area, in this sphere, what our monthly sub count looks like. If we're lucky, 2,000. 2,000. So to have massive growth like this and complain that you're being censored, I mean, it's so ridiculous. Like I hate celebrities on YouTube, by the way. Like even when we had uh, Will Smith blow up when he was doing his vlogs, I hate that because you're already a, like, you're already a celebrity. Like fuck off. Like this is supposed to be where authentic people post their thoughts we don't want these corporate goons these celebrities like we built our platforms from nothing we built our platforms by just plugging away for years and this motherfucker has the nerve to claim that he's being censored because in a video where he knows he spread misinformation he got digged by youtube look if i spread actual medical misinformation in one of my videos I would take that video down because I don't want to violate community guidelines because I know that YouTube will ding me for that. But he's so entitled. This rich multimillionaire is so entitled that he thinks he can literally spread misinformation and admit to doing that. And after lots of growth by YouTube, which none of us see on the left, claim that he's being censored. Even the Young Turks probably doesn't see this much growth. That is a ton of growth. But yet he's being censored, folks. Ridiculous. Issue. The good news is we're moving to Rumble. All of our content is up there on Rumble is. first and we'll be streaming on Rumble every day. We have been persecuted for misinformation and it's right. We have persecuted. a responsibility to make sure that the information we convey is absolutely 100% as accurate as it possibly could be. In the mistaken video, we said that the NIH were recommending the use of What we should have said is they're trialing That's He's talking about ivermectin, by the way. So he was trying to hypocrisy burn the government or something because they recommended the use of ivermectin. By the way, get off of ivermectin's dick, folks, okay? It's not effective in treating COVID-19. Holy shit. I don't know why they won't take the L on this, but people like Jimmy Dore and Russell Brand, they refuse to take the L. Ivermectin is not effective at treating COVID-19. It is very effective if you have a parasite, but not effective for treating COVID-19. And this dumb motherfucker is like, oh, well, yes, we have a responsibility. But we're still being persecuted. Dude, do you not understand how ridiculously unreasonable you look right now? Oh my god. Should have said, you pointed that out to us. We made an apology video. We've taken that down as I well. I said YouTube I was sorry. Why won't you let me monetize this video and keep it up? The one where I spread the misinformation because I said I was sorry. I mean, that's not the way that it works, brother. If you know you spread misinformation, why would you expect to keep up that video and still make money off of the misinformation that you spread? We've taken down the apology video because in case we reiterate the claim while apologizing for it. So both of those videos you can watch right now on Rumble. They're still live on Rumble. That's the reason we're joining them because they're not going to censor our content. I would like to know, did he... And let me, let me switch because dog cam needs to be deactivated because Poopy left me.
But I would like to know what contract did he get from Peter Thiel? Is there a contract? Because look, you're not going to go to a website like Rumble because there's just not as many eyeballs there. In fact, let me go to his Rumble and see how many views he's getting. In order to make that jump, it has to be worthwhile, monetarily speaking. 15,000 views. 100,000 views. That's pretty good. Uh, 28,000, 84,000, 21,000, 28,000. So this is on the level of people like my size, David Dole's size, Kyle Kalinske's size. But on YouTube, so on this video, 800,000 views. Let's look at his view count, just look, generally speaking. Two hundred forty-six thousand, one hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand, one hundred thousand, one hundred sixty-five thousand, one million, one hundred twenty thousand, uh, nine hundred fifty thousand, three point two million, one million. Yeah. So I'm sorry. He's not gonna jump over to Rumble unless he's getting a pretty good paycheck. Okay. Because that's a lot of work to upload to two different places. I would know. I upload to three different places every single day: YouTube, Facebook, and Means TV. Okay, so you don't do all of that extra work unless it is worthwhile, unless there's going to be eyeballs. So for him to jump to Rumble, yeah, yeah, he's getting paid. This misinformation strike and takedown demonstrates exactly what it is we're talking about. We made an error, in my opinion, a relatively small error, and we're being penalized. For me, that looks like censorship. And the reason I think- You admit that you made the error! You, you can't admit that you spread misinformation, get penalized for it, and then claim that you're being censored. Holy shit. Talk about taking responsibility. I'm glad that he admits that he was in the wrong with that video. But I mean, what did you expect? If you knowingly spread misinformation and you did not take down the video, it is astonishing to me that you're going to cry censorship when YouTube actually takes action. All of us would expect that. Uh, you know, smaller creators, they get censored all the time. And... Nobody hears them when they bitch, but it's only these huge creators with millions of subscribers that we all are supposed to care when they get censored uh, because they just have bigger platforms. They have louder voices, so when they cry, we all hear it more. But this happens to creators every single day and nobody whines. It, it's just That's why it's so bad when these rich assholes whine about it. Looks like censorship is because there's mainstream media misinformation up all the time. Now we know that. So, because mainstream media spreads misinformation, you should be able to spread misinformation too? Is that really your argument? Yes, mainstream media is bad. And they not only spread uh, deceitful news, but they frame things in a very pro corporate way. That doesn't mean that, oh, well, they get to do it, so I want to do it too. Don't you want to be better? Aren't you trying to, like, make it seem as if you are better? Isn't that why you're on YouTube? Because you're better? You have higher standards than mainstream media? But yet he's like, no, no, no. See, Rachel Maddow says things that are wrong, so I should be able to say it too. Well, for me personally, um, I want to correct mainstream media when they spread misinformation. I don't want to use their misinformation spreading, their corporate biases to then in turn spread my own version of misinformation and biases. Like, it's insane that he's making this argument. I am genuinely shocked by this. He is so fucking shameless. Vaccines work well enough that the virus stops with every vaccinated person. A vaccinated person gets exposed to the virus. The virus does not infect them. The virus... Okay, first of all, I don't know when she's saying this. This is not true now. If she was saying this when we got the first version of vaccines during the alpha wave of the pandemic, I'd say, okay, they're 95% effective, so you shouldn't say this. But I think that this claim that she's making here, if she was making this claim at that time, that's probably less egregious than him accidentally saying that ivermectin is effective. Because then that could lead to people, again, seeking out ivermectin if they can't get a prescription, getting horse pace, shitting their fucking intestines out, uh, like, this is not as egregious as what you did. And this is your example that you're going to use? Most of us know now that that's not true. But that video is up on YouTube. Ooh. What's the date? What's the date? Let's go back a little bit. March 30th, 2021. This was before the Delta wave hit the United States substantially. So you are comparing a video from March of 2021. When it was the case that the vaccines were 95% effective. That doesn't mean 
that it stops everyone from getting COVID-19. Even then, there were breakthrough cases. So again, what she said here was technically incorrect. But you're going to bring up this old ass video and claim that, oh, they're spreading misinformation as bad as I do? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. In my opinion, that's misinformation. So we are asking, is there one standard for independent news broadcasters like us on our channel and a different standard for what we would call the mainstream media? Um, no, you're not one of us, Russell Brand. You are not one of us. You may be independent technically, although I'm not sure if you're being funded now by Peter Thiel, which is why you're jumping to Rumble, but you're not one of us. You are on the mainstream media algorithm. You get boosted as much as they do. So the double standard isn't between you and mainstream media. The double standard is between people like you and smaller creators who don't have name recognition. They weren't in these huge movies. So they had a huge start out of the gate. They had to build their platform. It took years of dedication. But this motherfucker knows he spread misinformation and then complains when he gets dinged by youtube cries censorship unbelievable russell brand is a fucking piece of work and it's sad uh, because i used to really like his content i thought his youtube videos were okay they were fine um i liked his movies i was a pretty big fan of russell brand believe it or not get him to the greek was uh, a really great movie i still like it um, but now all he is is this opportunistic grifter. I'm not sure if his, like, Hollywood career crashed and burned. So he decided to, you know, jump to YouTube to cultivate an audience based on not necessarily misinformation purposefully, but pandering to conspiracy theorists. I'm not really sure. But either way, what he's doing now is really sad. Um, and I think he knows better. I think he knows better, but he is, you know, he's intelligent enough to use this to cash in. So it's just, uh, it's sad.